In this week's show, we're going to take a look at automation. What do you need to do to your machine to get it automation ready? Your process as well, and what different types of automation are available for you, the UK engineer? Welcome to this week's Walk and Tips. Sam, today we're here at your company, Delau, and on today's Swarf and Chips, we're going to talk about automation, maybe some of the myths, why you should, or maybe even why you shouldn't automate, but if you can tell us about this you know, automation system, that'd be great. Yeah, so this is our first cobot. Um, we've got one manual lathe, we've got one now automated lathe, and it's really helped us out from an efficiency point of view, because it's a low-cost solution, it costs us less than 25 grand, very simple to program, in, and the control system is very, very simple. And what it allows us is to take some of our operators or our skilled staff away from the process to focus on more important things. Do you know what? I think that's one the biggest myth at all, isn't it? If I get a robot, people are going to lose jobs. So operators are scared of these things. Yeah. Whereas really, it sounds like you're upskilling. Somebody would have been stood here loading a billet. Waste of time, isn't it, Sam? Absolutely. Who wants to stand and, and hand load a machine all day, every day? So what this has allowed us to do is we have offline programming, on site we have other setting and operating that needs to take place so it really gives the guys to sort of diversify their skills around the whole shop floor so they're not standing on one machine yeah and this was integrated with the help of mazak there's some of the extras on the machine to allow you to automate your process yeah so uh, because we're dealing with plastics we have to have a very soft and deft touch with all of our components no um, no scratches no tags no anything so we've actually had a vacuum chuck fitted on the back of this lathe that we're standing next to um, and also along with that we've got the automatic door and we have a, a very sensitive pressure control system on our hydraulic chucks as well. So that enables us to transfer the, the parts inside the machine and then also e eject them with the robot. So Sam, you say very simple process. Just talk us through it please. Well, there's a table just behind you that we've, we've geared up for 24 parts. So with a cycle time of less than five minutes, it's not going to last that long, but we, we man the shop for 18 hours a day anyway. So yes, we haven't got an operator hand loading, but as long as the operator is in the vicinity, make sure that whenever we get to a full table of 25 parts, we transfer over to raw material, then, then that's fine. So simple process, robot comes along, picks up the raw material puck, loads into the, into the hydraulic chuck, machining process commences. When the machining process is finished and transferred to the sub-spindle, the robot comes in again, loads a new one, and takes away the complete component. That component's then loaded back on in the same position as it picked from, and the robot waits for the end of cycle. So. Yeah, you've made that sound really easy, but there's some engineering challenges there, isn't there? Absolutely. We have yeah, expansion of PTFE and, and the polymers that we use is a challenge because we have to right size the, the holders that we put on the bench um, and then none more so than actually how the lathe and how the robot interact and talk to one another. So for the engineers who are listening, that side of it was so simple. We have full robot interface on this Mazak and it turns out for this simple process we actually only, we handshake between robot and machine using M codes. So very simple, any of my guys can do it and we just transfer ownership of the process to either the robot or for the late, uh, the late. And in terms of the pendant, it, it's, more, it's more teaching than, than, than programming, isn't it? It's, it's, if you're familiar with an iPad like we all are now, it's just yeah. very, very simple. Yes, yeah, so there's two ways. You can drive through the, through the tablet, 
and you can steer the robot around or you can manually move the robot. I can spin it round, I can put it into its position and set waypoints which then uh, build part of a full complete robot program. So Alan, you guys at Mazak, you were heavily involved in this project, how did it go? It went very well actually, it was a, a huge demand. Um, the customer wanted quite specific solutions, but thanks to the UK based um, European engineering department, we uh, created the option with the mechanicals and the PLC upgrades. And now if you talk about your wider offering of automation, I know you've got various various styles for different machines. Maybe we can touch on a few of them today. Sure. Probably the thing that we're most known for is our Palatex system, which is our multi-pallet automation system, which can connect to a number of different Mazak machines. What's unique is it's made by Mazak, so it's designed to work with a Mazak machine, no third party involved. As well as that, we can offer pallet pool, which is up to six machines on a single machine, or multi-pallet pool, which is up to 16 or 18 pallets on a carousel, mm -hmm. so over two or three levels. The unique feature with that is you can buy the machine ready for MPP, and then at some point in the future, buy the MPP, and we'll connect it in the field. So whether it's a lathe and you want something like a pick and place or a gantry, or a milling machine, you might want something different. You've, yep. kind, of, you've kind of got all the boxes ticked, Alan. Yeah, on the, on the turning machines, on, on this model and others, we can offer the overhead gantry, which again is a Mazak product designed to work with the machine. And we can offer either a rotary conveyor where the components are stacked, or we can offer a pitch feed conveyor for larger, heavier components. And commercial, and I'm interested to learn, you know, are more your customers requesting um, automation quotes on drawings? I would imagine so. Yeah, absolutely. Pretty much everything I'm doing now has A-level automation to, in it. That might be as basic as a bar feed. That's a very easy way of getting into automation. Um, but yes, robots are featuring more and more. Cobots are becoming more popular now. Everybody is looking for a level of automation to get the unmanned shift, the overnight run if possible. So for the engineers at home watching this, maybe do I automate, do I not automate? You've already said this is less than £25,000. Yeah. What's your opinion on people looking at automation for the first time? I think go for it. It's been very simple for us. It's been very fun for us as well. Um, the pressure of me now as a production manager is what else do we put this on? Currently this is the only process we use and we have probably 10 or 11 other opportunities for this robot. So, so as you look forward into the future, I know you've got big plans. Are automation going to be part of that future here at Dallau? Absolutely. This is made us a lot calmer about the automa automation that needs to happen in our industry. So this is probably going to be the smallest piece of automation we have and then hopefully in the future we'll be looking at gantry loaded robots and everything and, it's, and it should be nothing to be scared of. Just finally, Alan, you know, for the engineers watching this program, maybe a little bit nervous about buying automation, whether it is a bar feed or more likely a robot yep. with applications like this. What would, what would you say to them? In fact, this company were at today, they were a little bit nervous about going down the automation yep. robotic route. What would you say? I would say, speak to us, ask us for our opinion. Not every component is suit, suited to automation. Most will be. And the myth about automation being for high volume really doesn't stack up anymore. The ease of changing the automation makes it much easier now, so the volumes can be much lower.